Hello and welcome to Doorways. Again. But this isn't going to be part 8 or part 9 of Doorways, no. This is going to be a completely separate series because it's a completely separate game. I played the first and second chapter before. This is the third, called The Underworld. And it looks to be very good. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to get straight into it. Here we go. Doorways, The Underworld. So, if you remember the story of Doorways, I play as a character who can who can kind of get into the minds of serial killers. And by getting into the minds, kind of, you know, a la Inception, I discover what they did, how they did it, and I, I believe I, I solved the case in some way. I, I, even after playing, well, through like eight, nine videos of Doorways, I'm still not exactly certain what I do, or how I do it, My but... My name is Thomas Foster. The maniacs I pursue fall like dominoes. One after the other. I solve these cases by entering their minds. Actually, letting them into mine. I stalk them through dark hallways. Forests of bloody stakes. Inhuman torture chambers. Museums of still and eternal suffering. Am I leaving this hell, or am I walking right into it? Walking right into it, I would think. Well, there you go. That pretty much explained what I could never do, really. Uh, so here we go. Cybot Studios presents. Oh, I like that. Okay. So what have I got? Uh, let me just go through the controls, because it's been a while since I played this, to be honest. I believe if I, if I press tab, right, I get some options, I get notes, and I get items as well. Oh, and relics, too. So it's R for that, I for items, uh, N for notes, and escape for options, which is pretty standard. Let's just see if we've got any notes right now. No notes, no notes whatsoever. Any items? No. Relics? Nothing as of yet. Okay, fair enough. So it doesn't, it doesn't bring over uh, what I got from doorways 1 and uh, 2. Okay, so what does this say? Tobias M. Oh, okay, so yeah, this is just the way they're doing the credits. Kind of nice, I guess. So yeah, I, I, I'm a bit confused as to why they made this a separate game, to be honest. I think their, their excuse is that they, they put a lot of time and effort into this, and um, it's basically as big as the first two chapters combined, so they wanted to release it as a separate product. But I think it kind of screws over the people that bought Doorways expecting four chapters. I mean, I, I wasn't really in that that group because I got this at a very I got a Doys chapter one and two at a very discounted price uh, during the Steam Halloween sale, I believe. So, yeah, I'm not too bothered about it. But if I paid like I don't know, fifteen pounds, and I expected four chapters, and I didn't get four chapters, I'd be kind of pissed off, I think. Right, so here we go. That was the end of the credit sequence. Right, so here we go. This is how chapter one and two started too. Katharina Stein, Frankfurt, Germany, 1964, neurosurgeon. Reichenwald, Germany, is the origin of several urban legends, as 50 people have gone missing over the last nine years. After the police closed the investigations without any explanations, doorways took over the case. Two agents have been sent there over the last five years, but neither has come back. They have been registered as missing on service. Their identities remain classified. Our intelligence reports indicate that Dr. Stein is carrying out experiments with humans for a secret branch of the military forces of her country. Is that right? So this is the woman we're going to be uh, going into the mind of, or she's going to go into my mind, as uh, he explained at the beginning. So here, there we go. Uh, oh, right, so... Oh my, god. oh my god, in fuck indeed. Right, I want to go back to the credits already. Uh, right. Even the beginnings of the, the Forest of Stakes and the Mausoleum didn't start like this. I have to walk into a, a gaping mouth. Brilliant. Right, I can only go on and uh, get better from here, Where right? Where am I? I don't know, man. You're the expert. Right. Well, you know, I've, I've heard good things about this. The trailers make this look fantastic. And the, just the image I use from the, from the thumbnail, you know, for the thumbnail, rather. Uh, you know, I, I'm hoping for good things. It looks pretty fucking creepy, honestly. 
I should just say, if you haven't worked it out yet, this is the first time I am playing this game, the absolute first time, as I usually do uh, for my playthrough. So yeah, if I stumble a little bit, I uh, apologise quite a lot. This isn't exactly going to be, you know, speedrun walkthrough material, probably. I just want to go around and explore a little bit at the moment. Also, I should mention... Ah, oh, hello. What's this? Forget that. I'll mention that later. What's this? We have a note. Dungeon branches into somber hallways. As I get deeper, the narrow walls suffocate me, making me want to scream. Anxiety. My target psyche draws me in, echoing into each one of my senses. Intelligence warned me that I would be dealing with an unprecedented psychopath. She most definitely is. My lust is taking over my duty for the first time. Who is this, Doctor? Just who am I facing here? Well, I have a feeling we're about to find out whether we like it or not. And it, did, did the guy mention that there was two agents that tried to get into this woman's mind previously and I guess failed and sort of got miss... somehow went missing? I don't know exactly what happens here. Do we physically go into the, the imagination or... I don't know, are our minds connected or something? I'm not really sure about that, but um, it's probably not very important. Yeah, what was I going to say? Right, yes, uh, this game can be played with an Oculus Rift, just like Chapters 1 and 2. Um, I haven't tried this with the Oculus Rift, obviously, but Chapters 1 and 2 look absolutely phenomenal with the Oculus Rift. If you actually have the game, I recommend you try it, uh, if you have the Oculus Rift. It is absolutely amazing. Probably the best example I can think of right now of the uh, the Oculus Rift being used in like a mainstream kind of game, you know, really well. So I have a key here. Now, what do you suppose this does? Unlock that door, possibly? I'm beginning to think so. So I, as I'm walking through here, I'm, I'm trying to think of like what this all symbolizes, I guess. Is the imagery here like all meant to mean something? Right, okay, so I need to go into items, right, choose the key. So I've <laughs> equipped the key. There we go, okay. Very fancy locking system, I like it. Okay. So, okay, okay, sure, sure. So it's like we're going through some underground tunnels right now, obviously. I mean, that is the ground above me, I believe. Um, any chance of going through here? Apparently so. I don't know, this is... Oh, shit. This is kind of reminding me of... Of like maybe like World War Two. This place. I don't know, man. I don't know, Mr. Foster. What is this place? What is it exactly? Which way should I go? Should I go? Should I go forward or right? Let's go right. Let's let's just go right. There's a very very real chance of me getting lost down here, and that's obviously not a very good thing to do. But well, that's been locked up, so I'm going to need to find a. Can I find a key for the padlock or? It's not getting highlighted, so I guess maybe not. Never mind then. Let's just keep continuing down here. Maybe enter this room. Anything that I can pick up, possibly? I mean, these these kind of look like cells. Hang on a moment. Can I crouch? Oh, I can crouch. There's a tunnel here. Very intrigued. Very intrigued indeed. Right. Uh, where am I exactly? Is this the place I was before? What's this? Oh, this is a relic. These are like collectibles in this game. I don't think they really mean anything, but they're kind of fun to look at. So let's have a look. Well, that's 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 just fucking delightful, isn't it? And that's meant to represent this neurosurgeon's thoughts in some way. So yeah, great. And I believe I'm walking into an invisible barrier there, so we can't proceed. So there you go, that was a nice little secret area, I suppose. Let's continue, though. Go back on ourselves. Let's see what else awaits us. Hmm. Yes. So, uh, as you've probably realised from the thumbnail, um, there are going to be some sort of monsters down here. And um, I'm just wondering when I will meet them. And if I actually have to run away from them, because if you remember, uh, in Doorways Chapters 1 and 2, there were very few areas where you could sort of die, you know, due to, like, getting caught by an enemy. There were a few things you could you could do, like, you could fall down and, you know, let gravity take its course and kill you and spike traps and whatnot. But I believe there was only the, the statue uh, in the mausoleum, 
the chapter two. There is only the statue that could really take you out. I might be forgetting some things, honestly, but but the uh, but the enemies do look kind of dangerous and very very sinister. Right, what have we got on this table here? What is this? Another note. Behind the cell, there was an inhuman torso. It was contorted, lying on heaps of feces and putrefaction, under the sight of hundreds of flies buzzing around. The smell was nauseating. His neck was upright. His face bared a fixed, horrified expression. Its glassy eyes laid on me, toying with my sanity. Looks like there's a page two for this, so here we go. It was indeed another victim of her experiments. He might have been an unfortunate villager, or even one of the doorway's agents. Whatever it had been, now it is nothing but a lump of flesh. I stopped to examine it for a second. Something wasn't right. A slight facial spasm confirmed to my suspicion. It was still alive. Oh, man. kind of like to see exactly what the hell he's talking about there, because I... I don't believe I've seen that yet. What's going on? Oh, I don't like this. I'm forced to move slowly for some reason. Jesus Christ. What is going on here? God. This is actually pretty freaky, I've got to be honest. Maybe it's just something to do with the tunnels? Man, oh man, okay. Anything to find here? It's just a lot of mattresses, all of which seem to have some sort of stains on them. Blood, I assume. God damn. How many victims did this woman have, exactly? Oh, that was where I got the relic, wasn't it? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm intrigued, I have to say. Have I just gone in a big circle? I think I've just gone in a big circle, but let me just confirm that. No, I can't confirm that. I can't go back on myself. Fair enough. Well, there must be something I missed, then. There must have been something I missed. But what? Probably what that guy was talking about, the uh, the lump of flesh. I don't remember seeing it though. Was it this tunnel I went through? I don't think it was. This is new, isn't it? Yes, this is new. And this is reminding me a lot of Penumbra, which can only mean good things, because I bloody love that game. I don't know a single person who doesn't like that game, honestly. Apart from people who don't like to be scared, of course. Whew, okay. Oh, this is claustrophobic as hell. This is worse than the tunnels, obviously. Right, do we keep going? Do we go left? Let's keep going, just to see exactly where this goes. Maybe it's a dead end. It's a dead end, fair enough. Okay, so we're going through this little part here. Where does it go? Where does it lead? Oh, man. Okay. Alright. We're back in. Fine. Well, I think every time it fades to black, just briefly, I think it means it's saved. There is no exact, like, save points exactly. There's no save system. It's just, uh, you know... Well, I guess it is save points, isn't it? How far you get. What is all this? Looks like a puzzle to me. Doorways, chapters 1 and 2 were not uh, without their puzzles, so I don't know. Let's have a look. I pick up this. Oh, turn that. Turn that key. Ah, I see. So I need to um, I need to find another key and then turn this to do something. Probably shouldn't have turned that straight away. It's pretty dumb, isn't it? But yeah, so I'm on the lookout for a key, aren't I? On the lookout for a key. Right. Uh, well, I can only assume it's this way. I wish I had a flashlight or something. I really do. Very, very nervous walking up and down these tunnels. There's not many places to hide, you know? And I feel I might have to at some point. That worries me a little bit. Okay, so I can't go through this, this gate right here, so let's just go back a minute. I did see this tunnel here. Let's try this tunnel first. Right, there's a couple of, um, I don't know, computer units or something? I don't know. Generators, possibly? Ah, a keypad. 
Oh man. I can't, well, I can very faintly hear a, 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 like a use sound, so maybe I can only use it when I know the combination, which I clearly don't yet. I guess there's no point in guessing. Hmm. Right, so I can't use these two, whatever these are. They almost look like petrol pumps or something like that, or ATM machines, I'm not really sure. Parking meters? <laughs> right, this way. Onwards and upwards. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Ain't nobody gonna hold me down. Oh no, I've got to find a key. What are these things? They look like ticket machines or something like that. Very strange. Probably something medical. But yes, it all means something, I suppose. It all means something. Okay. Oh, he's not gonna read this one? Fair enough. Here we go. Experiment 9, Day 1. Finding the next subject was easier than expected. A middle-aged, poverty-stricken man caught my attention. He was asking for a job in the slum. All I had to do was tempting him with a job offer of inviting him to a feast. The good man was not going to refuse. Experiment 9, Day 2. After interviewing him, I learnt that he was an interesting man. A humanist, with Christian values. He has a basic education, but it should be enough. The serum has taken effect. He now lies in his newly assigned cell. The transformation will be successful this time. His patient number is 1305, so I can remember the start date of this fascinating project. Okay, fair enough, so the 13th of May, I guess. Sure, Th uh, 1305, is that the combination to the safe, perhaps? I didn't pick up a key, and I don't believe there is a key here, so... I'm gonna give that a go. I'm gonna go back and have, the, have a little go with 1305. Oh, oh, you mother of fuck! Okay, alright, yeah, that, that stunned the shit out of me, I wasn't expecting that. It was cheap! I mean, it came out of nowhere, quite literally, but... Creepy as fuck, okay. Face cam highlights at the end, by the way. If my webcam decides to work today. Right. So, 1305. Of course it works. Right, what are we going to find? We are going to find another note. Okay. Uh, sure, so there's uh, more experiments. Experiment 9, day 11. I've completed the amputation of his arms and legs. The use of painkillers was necessary this time. Pain caused agitation had destroyed patients 712 and 718's nervous systems before. And I'm not willing to make that mistake again. Okay, so day 21. The right leg stitches and show minor symptoms of infection. The subject's continuous screaming and questions won't let me focus. I would rather not to inject any more tranquilizers because his senses need to be on full alert. The most practical solution will be removing his tongue. Well, anything to get the job done, I suppose. Oh, and here we go. We have also found a key. Ten guesses to where that goes. Right. Let's be on our merry little way, shall we? I'm really quite nervous, I have to be honest. Just waiting for one of those freaks to pop up again. Sorry, I shouldn't say freaks, really. They're innocent people. They've been experimented on, as far as I understand it so far. Here we go, though. Uh, let's get that key open again. There we go. I'm holding it very, very close to my chest, it looks like. In it goes, and there we are. Now, what did that do? Probably did something I'm not going to like. Opened a door, maybe? Activated something? I very much doubt I'll have to go back there, so let's keep going. What's with that fucking sound, man? Oh, dude. Oh, dude, dude. Dude, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, no. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hide! I'm fucking hiding! Stay away from him! You cannot confront him. Fair enough, okay. Hi. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until the sound goes away. And then I'll peek around the corner if possible. Okay, what happened? Where did he go? Did he go back or did he go through here or what? Dude, fuck! 
Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's on his way back. He's on his way back. Right. So I'm going to need to do something really, really fucking smart, aren't I? What am I going to have to do? I'm probably going to get, gonna get to that, that gate where I, I saw him first. Oh, shit. I guess I should pay attention to the wires. They probably swing a little bit more fiercely when he's closer. That's, that's what I'm thinking. I think I'd be correct in that. I just need to stay away from the, the, uh, the swinging, in a way. Right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Hopefully it's to the right. To the right's good enough for me. Right now, it's good enough for me. Oh shit, here he comes, here he comes. Yes, I'm hiding, I'm fucking hiding! Just, 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 how the fuck did you not see me? And that's quite a nice little apparatus he's got going on there. What the fuck is going on there? Looks like his legs were removed. He's on some sort of stilt-like wheelchair. Okay, he's to the left. I'm going right, I'm going right. I'm just going to deal with the consequences later on. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it open? It's open. Fuck yes. Maybe. No, no that, that's a bad thing. Oh, oh shit, run. Yes, I'm running. I'm fucking running. Oh, oh. oh hide. This way? Stay away from him. Yes, yes, yes. I'm hiding for fuck's sake, I'm hiding. Shit, 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 shit. This is fucking nerve wracking. I need a light source. I can't see anything in this room. Is there another e exit or anything in here? Fuck. How did he not see me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. We gotta go this way then, haven't we? Fuck me. Oh god. Oh god, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh shit. Jump. Jump. Did I not jump? I actually forgot I could jump. Wheeler. That was the last thing that hunk of flesh and blood said before crawling into my consciousness and appearing inside my mind. Over and over again, trying to tear me up. That was, after all, his only way of dealing with the tortures he had undergone. Wheeler, eh? Okay, that was the guy that was chasing me, I assume. He did have wheels, after all. So, I'm confused. Was that meant to happen? Yes. Where am I? <laughs> oh my god! What is this place? Well, guys, it looks like this might be a perfect time for me to end the video. Thank you very much for watching so far. Please continue to watch because this game looks like it's going to keep getting better and better. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, oh, you mother of fuck. Okay, all right, yeah, that, that stunned the shit out of me. I wasn't expecting that. No. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hide. I'm fucking hiding. Just, 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 how the fuck did you not see me? And that's quite a nice little apparatus he's got going on there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is it open? It's open. Fuck yes. Maybe. No. no that, that's a bad thing. Oh, oh shit. Run. Yes, I'm running. I'm fucking running. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit! 
Jump. Jump. Did I not jump? I actually forgot I could jump. <laughs>